What are you watching? I don't know. No one knows. What are we all? What are we even doing in this world? All right. So we died in interchange because of bad internet, but we're going to go back and we're going to win. It was really, it was really frustrating. Like I have not been that frustrated in a long time, long time. So uh, let's see. We've got workbench. The wires are done. The wires are done. Um, should we construct the gym? We could do some workouts. I kind of want to construct the gym. Are you guys okay with that? Or we could do, we could do a grenade case. We just need that. There's no drain cleaner in the gym, is there? No. Yeah, let's construct the gym. And the Hall of Fame. We only need five light bulbs, one round pliers, and five fleece. All right, add that to the list. Save up for the weapon rack. But we just need one blue, metal scissors, and two ceiling foam. All right, we, okay, let's uh, get more wires. Turn the fuel on. Construct some more wires. Always need more wires. Um, that'll get the wires sorted. Okay, three motors and three mechanical parts. All right, three motors, three mechanical parts. Did I see circuit boards too? We've got the circuit boards, cool. Yeah, motors have been brutal. Uh, and then we need healing uh, helixes. Oh, we need three more ceiling foam as well there. So ceiling foam, what am I missing? It is not ceiling. Yes, there's xenomorphs and then we've got the shushes. All right. How's everyone doing? Really sorry about yesterday. I spoke to my ISP. They, they apologized. He even offered to drop me the loot that I lost. <laughs> Very nice of him, but the other obviously doesn't understand what hardcore is. Um, he's, he, the guy that runs the ISP is actually a, a hardcore player. So, he goes, I'm sorry, man. I'll, I'll, I'll get you the loot back. <laughs> and I'm like, no, 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 no. It's not that. That's not the problem. Um, the problem is... It, it ruins the, the continuity of the series. All right, I don't want to take a backpack in. Can we get another rig? Oh, new dailies. New dailies. Wood PMC operators from range, not going to happen. We actually have the rep. We could change this. Because we have the rep for Max already. No, we're not going to do this one, obviously. Exit the location. Three shorelines through the pier. Why does it hate us? We're not going to go through the pier. We might have to because we need the 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 the, the, the skier rep. I need an untar body armor and an untar helmet for 0.02 peacekeeper rep. Survive six customs. Game hates us. Game straight hates us. Why did, Why was I going... I was buying RAM. Why, why did I want RAM? Oh, for the mechanic. We were trying to get RAM. So I was doing the survives of interchange. Should we go somewhere else? We go shoreline. The data in the computer room. We st still need to get lend lease or v vitamins. Oh, we had the item for. Mm. We're going shoreline. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. We should take that into actually in a change, that one. It's a good end change route. All right, a little bit of cash. Some meds. Five and six. We're gonna go shoreline and we're gonna win. E3 or six. We can actually put this in here too. All right, cheeky shoreline raid to warm up. I'm 
even tempted from this spawn, we just run straight to the uh, the new area and just grab whatever we need. What items did we need? So we need what? Um, blue tape, ceiling foams, motors. Motors would be huge. If we find a motor, we're leaving. Xenos and helixes. Actually, not a bad spawn just to grab and do a loot and scoot. Honestly, it's a freaking great spawn. To do a loot and scoot. Uh, Jank, thanks to the prom, dude. Trying to run as quickly as possible to get out of the open. Don't need them. Nope. All right. Nope. I don't think we actually need any ration stuff. Wait, what do we need Malboros for? We needed four Malboros or something. Ram. My boss recommended you and now I'm playing Ducko. <laughs> Tips for a new player. Uh, watch my new player series. Escalation Mart New and Escalation Mart Raid. We're updating all the guides, but... The easiest way to explain it is... Watch those. Is it worth running... Over here? Have a look. Oh, there's... Spawned. Oh, fuel conditioner. That was worth. There's a technical supply crate over here. We should try and grab. Pretty sure it's a technical. It's a ration. I don't even want it. Fricks in this. Rig? Armor? Armor. I don't need aramids at the moment. Blue tape we need. Syringes are handy. You're now invisible. Condensed milk's good. It's fleece we need, isn't it? DVDs we don't need. Thanks, dude. Ah, uh, we need these ones, don't we? The red pliers. Alright, what's probably these two are the ones to get rid of? Cordura. Hey, 
actually get rid of that. Is there anything along here? I'm going to run off just because I don't want to... If there's someone... Um, coming into that area. We wanted to be stuck there looting while we actually taking the car out. Not seeing me still looting there. We did it. One year of Taki Prime. Can I get my Salewas now, please? Yes. Yes, yeah. You can get your Salewas. Just go into the map. Pick them up. You're good, sir. Sledgy. Don't need measuring tape. Well, there's a shush. So a couple items we need there. So that's a win. Street Racer. Thanks to two months. Mega uh, Manga Zombie. Thanks to 12 months. Uh, Nelts 1. Thanks to the Prime. JJH274. Thanks to 30 months. Arthur Sellers 26. Thanks to the Prime. I was actually looking for um, Ram. Mr. Dead Pine. Whilst, uh, whilst going to the East 306 room for a quest. And uh, we spawned right in front of the, that area. So I was like, you know what? I'll just grab some loot. Like, right now for hideout stuff, we need the shush. We need tape. We need Malboros for gunsmith. We need ram for gunsmith. We need the fuel conditioner for a quest. Uh, red pliers were needed for maybe a hideout upgrade. I can't remember what for, but we needed that for a hideout upgrade. So it's nice to get a little, little top up. No, I needed red pliers for something. We've got all the elite pliers we need. What do you need for scav case? Intel Center 2. Um, it's probably like Philly. Needed, hey? If you want to get Kappa. So that was the red pliers that I needed. All the red, so I got that done. Now we just need them. And then fleece and bulbs. Um... Can't remember what it was picking up just then. What it was for. There's two barters we're working on right now. There's this barter, which we need three rams. And there's this barter, which we need four Melbora. So we just found more Melbora then. All right, let's go back into there and try and go a little bit further. Did you really find them all in, in, in the new area? I got them other places as well, but there was uh, where I got the bulk. I struggled with them last wipe, so I started prioritizing really early. Oh, because you would have actually done last wipe. You would have got Kappa, and it would have taken you ages to find them all. And you would have gone, hmm. Whereas I don't normally up upgrade the hideout that much. I've literally got, like, very similar to the previous spawn. Might just go back there again. See what we find this time. If I spawned here and no one spawned here, there's a chance someone spawned just over in that spawn over there. 
Was it awkward when you first started to stream? Not really. So, one, I played video games my whole life. So that part wasn't difficult. But the uh, when I started streaming, my chat consisted of uh, my phone being in incognito mode, watching the stream, and my wife watching while she was at work. And that's how I got my three viewers, pretty much. But it took me three weeks to get affiliate, to get my 50 followers. I didn't, like, make fake followers. I did it all legitimately. Um, that's how I got my three average watches. And, uh, no, I just had people pop in and... It, I know it sounds silly, but it I, I don't miss having no viewers... But when you've got only, say, say less, when you've got less than 100 viewers, if you really, like, care about being a content creator, you'll learn so much about those 100 people. You'll, like, learn where they're from, what, what they do for a living, like, and they end up becoming your mods, right? Like, you learn everything about them. All my original mods were all from the very beginning, like, those early viewers. And uh, it's, it's, it's a really nice kind of feeling. It's very cozy, you know, like... I'm probably missing a few spawns. Don't need any of them. What was in this section? CPU. How long have you known Red Ops? Um, 2019, that's probably when I started talking to him. Oh, I do need these. Oh, and I need the Malboros too, actually. Aramids, we need fleeces. Don't need elite pliers. Don't really need wires. Finish with caps. So it's hunting matches. <clears throat> you found motors here, hey? Motors. Am I missing spawns, dead pawn? <clears throat> yes. <laughs> Write it in chat for all the ones I'm missing. Is there anything in this section I should look for? Because I don't normally look in there. Air filter. That sells for a lot, so we'll take that. Another yes. I don't like hanging around here too long. That arch section has a few spawns on the ground. Righto. So along here. There's a toolbox here actually.
pilgrim. Oh, you're fucking joking. Thanks for the entertainment, bro. Much love from Northeast USA. Just want enough rounds in there that I can shoot if I need to. Morning, money, Mayor. I've not seen more than one scav spawn there ever. I've always only had one scav spawn. And we just had a, a posse of four. That is incredibly huge. That is incredibly huge what we just had happen. I, 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 was, I just didn't want to like jinx it by saying, if we get out... That is so huge. That's four quests pretty much done just from finding that one gazelle. I'd, I probably don't have all the teapot, vases, lions, cats, and all that, but I'd have close. I don't have a lion at the moment. I've been just barter trading him because like the chance of finding gazelle is very slim. And if I, I get past that, all right. So let's just put this in here for now. Uh, that will go in there. I'm going to take that back in. So this is nuts. So we got general wares. We've got two more for general wares. But then we got gazelle done. Uh, chemical part four, you hand to... Alright, we need to find a golden egg and two lions. That's such a huge find. I, like, I'm not even holding on to the WT rigs and, and that because it's like, pff, what's the point? Uh, who was the daily? Man. That's fucking nuts. Alright, black rock. Alright, so we need to find these three things. Twice. Uh, Cordura, Ripstop, and Tarzan. I think there's a barter trade for this, isn't there? Jaeger. Oh, cool. We can just do two of them. All right, so we need uh, just need to find two Ripstop and two Corduras. Two Ripstop, two Corduras. Uh, let's hold that for now. Bruh. 
I have not wanted to run out of the raid so fast in my life. All right, we go again. What a huge raid. I'm not going to wear this. I'm just going to straight vendor it. I'll take an Alton and that, but these will be just sold. Take plate? Nah. Plates just slow me down. Probably could have kept that Mosin rail though. All right. Oh, you're winning, son? Bro, that was so huge. All right, we have a, a long shopping list now. And we keep getting the same spawn on Shoreline, so we keep going to that same spot. But the actual objective is to try and do... We should actually switch to an M4 that's suppressed. Probably the rotor. I don't have any sights. Isn't that needed for AK-102? Yeah, but they're pretty common. What's the other option? We go, these ones are like really good. Take this, take this one in. So I'll tell you what I'm thinking about doing at the moment, but I haven't decided. And that is The current theory I have is I'll get max traders probably start of next week, take a break from hardcore, let the series catch up a bit. And then if I feel like it after a little bit, I'll push towards getting uh, Kappa. So I'll get max traders probably sometime next week, work on guides for the next month or so. And then if I feel like it and that a little bit later in the white, we'll push towards getting Kappa. But like while well, bosses are... 15% spawn rate and you know, like I've got other stuff to do. Like I want to make all these guides and that. I need to focus on getting all these guides done for you guys. Whilst there, I think there'd be a large amount of people that want to see me get Kappa on hardcore. It doesn't matter. It's what I want to do. And I don't want to spend my, my entire white. Like if Deadpoint's still in chat, how many hours does it take to get Kappa on hardcore? Like realistically, would you say that I'm probably about halfway? Like 230 raids would probably put me about halfway. At, at best, I'd, I'd say it's probably more. It's probably going to take another, like I'm probably a third of the way. Midwest, thanks for three months. Agent Caramel, thanks for 32 months. Tripwise with 12 months. Mitzi Salad, thanks for 17 months. I'm not sure. Didn't get enough time last wipe to do it. Like that's how much time it takes. mean like that's the point like it's there's just a lot lot of rng involved whiskered warrior thanks for nine months like i could i could get stuck on a gunsmith item like dead has got a full spreadsheet of all the gunsmith items he needs to find so he might find one on day one and pick it up and put it aside whereas i might pick it up and go no nah, i don't need this and put it away and be like damn i fucked up because I didn't pick up something. So, like... There's no way that to me, right? Yeah, as a grind, I played until Christmas last while and didn't get past Gunsmith 9. Is that the next Gunsmith? He's shooting at someone else. It's someone on the other side. <clears throat> Is 
Is I'm on Gunsmith 8, aren't I? What's the Gunsmith 9? Is that the... You need the pistol? Ah. Is it, what's the best way to farm it? Reserve. What, raiders can have it? There must be a player here. What the fuck? Why? If it's really a massive sticking point, I could probably get BSG to add it to, as a barter. Like, at least the elite pistol grip. If that's the sticking point. You reckon someone's behind me? The grenade did not get thrown from behind me. Do you reckon it's possible that Scav threw the grenade into the fence, the grenade landed on him, and then he died? Hello? Pretty sure that's what happened. Just got to get into East 36. Please, no bully. Fuzzy uh, Camel, thanks to 17 months. It's too smart, thanks to the Prime. Quickly look for Ram. Ram's all you ever get until you don't need it. Sorry, until you need it.
Need them. Come on, you key. Has the car been taken yet? Hasn't. Drown takes the 29 months. Will Suda takes the 8 months? Please, Father, toss me. You'll have to toss me. Is that a dead person over there? Oof. This could be spicy. Just gonna charge over like the beaches of Normandy and... Try my luck, I guess. As each stream passes, I become more comfortable rolling solo in Tarkov thanks to you. No worries, man. Brew other pesta leagues. I hate coming here late. I always feel like there's someone camping somewhere. All the items are taken off. Uh, there's never no items on these tables or these shelves. This is looted a thousand percent. Nice. Thank God a pilgrim as well. Was it Kodura that I needed? I don't think I need any more hoses. Go for Bitcoin farm. Oh gosh. Can you double stack pilgrims? don't want to spend too long here if I can help it. Must be a scav here or something. Hello?
Need one more male borers. Someone has taken it. Lizzle, thanks so much for the 10 gifted subs. The timing. Must have heard the gunshots and got scared and ran out. Do I need another propane? Whereabouts am I meant to be looking? Wait, did I need? Oh, I did the T plugs already. Propanes are another armor if I if I die, so propanes are still good to hold on to anyway. So do you have to go to the chemistry um like Sanitar's room on labs for hardcore. How did you do that, Dead Point? Did you farm Sanitar until you got a, a key card and then went in there? That would be the most stressful raid ever. Alright, we got six scabs then. So I need four more for that quest. And we got a quest done too. We got the uh, we got the peacekeeper quest done. The actual M4 quest is harder, and I'm just I was just like, you know, I'll just chuck on the suppressor and see how we go. Surprised that we're actually doing so well. Alright, so there's the Deshonka. We need one more Melbora. Still need the ramp. What did we need the coffee for? That was nutrition, right? So nutrition's done now.
This is the water room, yeah? East wing, but ground floor. And we need four more scav kills. Is there any reason to hold on to a clock? Oh, this is actually getting full. Roll pain. Suggestions for finding a second Zebulo. Kill player right on the extract with a, with one, and then you just extract straight away after you loot it. Couldn't be any more scripted, could it? But uh, did I drop the mag? Did I reload as I was leaving? Must have. Okay. Poggies, poggies. It's a poggy key. Pistol case number two. All right. I'm actually going to do one more shoreline now because we're actually close to finishing wet job. And that in itself is kind of cool. Kind of a bit of a frustrating task sometimes, so. Not finding any motors. All right. We should leave a key behind. Or two. We need rip stop. We could craft two. We just need one more. One more. I don't have a slickers. Right. Should be able to find it. It's pretty common. Maybe we'll do a duo stream if you can at some point. I think I can get max. What I'll do, what I might get max traders and then do a duo stream with you, and we'll we'll go over all the like the little tips and tricks that we should have done over the playthrough and then like i said i'll take a big break from hardcore and then once the series catches up on youtube then i'll consider going back to finish off kappa i'll 100 percent message bsg to add something for the elite plies i, I messaged nikita about it's not the elite ply so the elite pistol I, me, I messaged nikita saying could you add it to one of the boss spawns um to make it so the boss has it as the sidearm and um and i he he did like the idea but then i never heard anything else about it so maybe one of the bosses now has it possibly but i don't know otherwise he might just add it as a barter he's done it in the past for me all right i'm gonna go back to shoreline we're trying to finish off our wet job and cargo x we can do as well if we head into the resort we need to find some of these items oh nutrition's ready to upgrade so we'll upgrade that now so nutrition being level three is needed and then we just need to find another lead x for this which we could find, farm lead X's on woods pretty easily. All right, we need to find two more flash drives and two more hard drives. So we should get that now as well. Two flash drives, two hard drives. Might be worth grabbing some more power cords. It might be worth making it that one. then when that's done we can make it into a weapon case or a man case sorry all right let's go again if it wasn't pay to win right if it wasn't pay to win people wouldn't just randomly give an extra 100 us dollars to some random russian company like it's obviously some sort of advantage it's just it doesn't define if you were going to be good at the game or not that's the only difference eod is pay to advantage right you can word it however the fuck you want it's still pay to win pay to advantage pay to head start it's all still pay to win you're just changing the word still means the same it just <laughs> it, it won't make you a better player but it'll 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 soften the blow yeah hot take of the day all right if we want to get the final scav kills we're probably better off going this way Killing the scavs over at power station.
<clears throat> this is hardcore, yep. The main, the main thing Edge of Darkness does that makes it pay to win, it just softens the blow. So every time you die, you don't die with as much loss because you can keep some extra stuff in your butt. You can loot a little bit extra and that's how it's pay to win. Say for example, on average, you die with like, like a standard account and your whole butt's taken up with your keys and stuff. Or on EOD, you might be able to fit a Bitcoin in there or you might be able to fit a graphics card in there or, or something of value, right? And that's where the advantage is. And you don't get that advantage for a long time. Not to mention it saves you like an incredible amount when it comes to st cost of upgrading stash. You also get a massive advantage when it comes to trader rep. Like you do not need to worry about trader rep at all the entire playthrough. Whereas on standard account, when you do the chemical part four, it kind of shafts you a little bit. Unless you're like, got the funds already ready to go to buy the stuff on flea. I like it's not a massive like shaft, but it, it you know, average sized. Like the average person wouldn't complain shaft. Am I blind or deaf or what's going on? There's definitely a audio of someone. Has to be on top. Evening's that. Ah. Do I want to go inside? Should I just run in? There's no way I'm going to the new area. That's the gunshots. Or in the new area. That's people getting shot at bus depot. Is that a, someone's head there? You dead? Yep.
Red key card. Game hates me. Imagine. Red key card right there. Don't need salt. Is this a peacekeeper quest? Yeah, I need two more. I need two more scav kills and I've got to go into east wing. Scams to spawn. I'll probably. Mm, enjoying hardcore, loving it. It's been really good this part. Scav. Wet job's done. Out of these two quests, wet job's the more frustrating one because if I lost the M4 with the suppressor, it's going to be hard to get back. Now, there was a lot of shooting down at the... Um, well, there's already taken the vehicle extract, so there's no point going that way. Deadpoint, you're still in the chat. I'd love to know if you actually try and focus on getting a Red Rebel. Because now that in Shoreline, you can take the extract over here. You've got the lighthouse extract and you've got the reserve one i could actually see a fair bit of value in it Yeah, but I got one last while while Sturm and it made it grinding reserves so much better. Yeah. I've killed more bosses on my hardcore account than I have on my main account. How, how disgusting is that?
Oh, he's still shooting at me. What's in front of me? Sprinting this long, but I'm trying to get it. Fuck off. What's your strategy for finding um, bolt actions? Do you just farm sniper scanners? Pretty sure it's just a dead scav, but the player could have just killed it. Because we heard a gunshot here. Maybe he was heading towards extract? Uh, Kona Conagen, thanks for the three months. Glad it's still snowing. Yeah. I think it's part of the reason why I've enjoyed this warp so much. Getting that wet job task done is actually really strong. Like, like the next one's like go out to the island or something, but getting the M4 kills with suppressor can be really frustrating. If I, if I died early a couple of times and then you're sitting there like, oh my God. Yeah, having those early, it's really nice. That should be level uh, 36 or whatever the next level is. Pest, do you think spawns could get reworked at all? I know Jessica Zam and Clean have been talking about lately. I... To me, it's kind of like, it can, yeah, sure. They can definitely rework it and do stuff for it, but. just a list of all the other things that could be tweaked to make better. All right, this one's actually quite frustrating. All right, I might get, I might just get the rip stop done. That way I've got rip stop done and then all I need to find is one of the other ones. We should, we need to take them on to uh, interchange and in a, interchange. GSSH is really painful in the snow though. Where'd you get the thick from? Uh, private clinic. 